CRISPR finally erase HIV from the body? The story of HIV is the story of a shadow that has followed humanity for more than 40 years. It is a virus that hides in the blood like a thief in the night, striking when defenses are down. Millions have been lost, and millions still live with it every day. For decades, doctors could slow it, could trap it in a cage with medicine, but they could never open the lock that would set people free. And then came a new word that sounded almost like a blade, CRISPR. CRISPR is not a pill, it's not a vaccine. It is a tool that scientists discovered by looking at bacteria. Tiny, single-celled creatures had invented a way to fight off invading viruses. They used a system to cut up enemy DNA like scissors. Scientists borrowed that system and turned it into one of the most powerful genetic tools ever made. Today, CRISPR is being tested to see if it can do something medicine has never done, cut HIV out of human cells. But how does HIV actually work? The virus doesn't just float around the blood. It pushes its genetic code inside human immune cells, the very cells meant to protect us. Once inside, HIV hides. Even if drugs stop the virus from multiplying, the hidden fragments remain, sleeping inside DNA like a time bomb. This is why no one has been fully cured by standard treatment alone. The big question is, can CRISPR find those hidden fragments and slice them out without harming the rest of the cell? Several research groups are trying. One team in the United States has already used CRISPR in animals infected with HIV. They programmed CRISPR to recognize the exact genetic sequence of the virus. When CRISPR reached those spots, it cut them apart. In some animals, HIV levels dropped so low they became undetectable. Another group in China tried something different. They edited the genes of human embryos to remove a receptor that HIV uses to enter cells. This experiment was widely criticized for ethical reasons, but it showed how powerful CRISPR might be in protecting future generations. Here's why it works. DNA is like a book made of four letters. HIV inserts new sentences into that book. CRISPR is like a precise editor that can scan the pages, find those sentences, and erase them. If the edit is clean, the virus can no longer survive in that cell. But the challenge is scale. The human body has trillions of cells. HIV hides in many places. The brain, the gut, the blood. Can CRISPR reach them all? And even if it does, can it avoid cutting the wrong pages and causing damage? These are the risks scientists worry about. If CRISPR makes a mistake, it could trigger mutations or harm healthy DNA. That's why every trial is slow and cautious. No one wants to trade one disease for another. Still, the dream of a true cure pushes forward. Some researchers are now combining CRISPR with nanoparticles that deliver the tool more safely. Others are exploring ways to pair CRISPR with antiretroviral drugs, creating a two-step attack. One to weaken the virus, the other to erase it. And so we return to the question, can CRISPR finally erase HIV from the body? Could the scissors of bacteria give humans the key to ending a pandemic? Will the cure come in our lifetime? Or will HIV remain a shadow for generations more? The answer is not here yet, but for the first time in history, we may have a tool sharp enough to cut at the root of the virus itself. And that possibility is both fragile and extraordinary. <laughs>